guys, what is going on? Do you all have any idea? Good morning. Hello, Fiona. When are those babies coming, huh? Any day? You're starting to bag up. You sure have a beautiful fleece, but it needs to be sheared her here pretty quick, huh? Well, hello, Finnick. What you doing, huh, buddy? You too need to be sheared. Well, good morning. I know you're looking for treats, huh? Mama's out here and you want treats. Oh, I know it. I know. No treats right now. So beautiful, guys. Look at how green everything is. I'm sorry it's been a minute. Oh, yeah. It's been kind of crazy. You know how that is. Oh, I know. Well, good morning to you as well. Good morning. Yeah. Oh, I hear babies. Oh, there they are. You know what? I think I was talking to the wrong one. Oh, there goes a big tractor. It is that season. Oh, the... There they are. Well, I was talking to Fiona when it was Finley that needs to be delivering here soon. <laughs> we have to check on her. Yep, she should be delivering any time. Look at how big those babies are getting. Oh my goodness, so big. Their tails are about to fall off. Yep, had to have those banded so that they fall off. <sighs> there we are. I'm so, so sorry that it has been a minute um yeah we had some predators on the homestead you know that's the the nightmare that we all face and it's horrible we um two of our ducks um i'm gonna turn this way so i don't have the sun directly in my face um two of our ducks um one was under the trailer believe it or not she was sitting on a nest of eggs there must have been gosh I'm thinking 15 eggs under her and she was under there for quite a while she's broody we were so excited about it and I would check on her daily and she'd kind of hiss at me not wanting me to mess with her and we made a spot that was nice and dark because we have hay bales around the trailer just to keep um during the winter you do that to keep keep it warm keep the cold air from coming up into the trailer um so anyway she was under there and I check on her daily well I went to check on her the other day and she was gone her eggs were gone <sighs> at least most of them something got her which is so hard because my favorite animals are the ducks literally I would have ducks over probably any other animal because I just love them and then another one went missing. So we definitely need a livestock stock guardian dog, which we've always had in the past, but when Juliet passed away last year, we never did replace her. So it is time. It is time. And I know that um, our dear friends, Grammy Karen, uh, the Stivers, uh, Jennifer's mom, um, Grammy Karen, has one for us so we are going to make this trek out to Kentucky to pick up our livestock guardian dog just because yeah the, the homestead is not safe without <sighs> oh my gosh that is just so heart-wrenching you know especially when ducks are my favorite animal not that it's any easier with any animal by any means but boy I'm telling you that was so hard to come out there to check on her and her nest was just a mess. A few eggs left. She's gone. Yeah. So, not sure what it is. We've not seen any raccoons or anything like that. But I'm pretty sure that's probably what it is. So, yep. We need to get a dog. We need to get one quick. Because can't keep that going. There's some of our little chicks. The rest are in the brooder, in the brooder room, in the barn. 
these three were the ones that hatched um, out of a batch that we were not sure if they were fertile. We got three. Can you see them? Let me walk around here. They're in this mobile chicken tractor, which is awesome. There they are, kind of going all over the place, if you can see them. But yep, they've gotten their feathers. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. We have an entire brooder full. I'm gonna show those to you with new ones, all kinds. They're already eating grass. I love seeing that when they start eating grass. So awesome. Okay, here we are at the greenhouse. I found this beautiful screen door. Do you see that? At a citywide garage sale. Um, out here in the Midwest, we have what's called citywide garage sales. And what that is, is the whole um, town will have a, you know, everybody will have a garage sale, at least, you know, a lot of people do. And there were so many, and I got this, this beautiful screen door for $10. So I'm gonna have Gene replace the one he made. And I think what we're gonna do is put like um, chicken wire in there because the screen itself is popped out. So chicken wire, I thought that would just be so pretty to add to the greenhouse. We still have not found a window. That's a pretty big opening, so he may end up having to make one if we can't find one. It's kind of a mess in here. Look at how much it has grown. That just goes to show you how amazing um, things grow in the greenhouse. I have started a few things because I do not have, you know, heat in here or air at this point. I've not done a whole lot. I put the strawberries in some pots. Avonlea put some morning glory flowers in there. I put thyme in all of these. Sage, lavender, and echinacea in the, these little, uh, I guess you'd call them grow stalks. It's a type of grow stalk. It's not the, the original. Um, and then red onions and sweet vidalias. Some more strawberries. <coughs> Excuse me. Genovese basil oregano and parsley and i went ahead and started some black beauty zucchini and some delicata squash i need to water these they dry out so fast so yeah started a few things i've got all these trays that i won at hoa from bootstrap farmer i'm so excited to start putting things in there i've got my soil blocker and that's what we've been doing in there is mixing soil <clears throat> so yes and then this right here is worm casting water it's a tea and so I've been using that to water with but it is so warm in here that it kind of dries things out quickly so we are going to somehow rig up the sides because the way he did it um, he actually nailed this down can you see that wonky plastic? I'm telling you, this was horrible from Grower Solution. I'm not, or no, was it Bootstrap Farmer? I don't know, it was one of the two, but it did some weird things. <coughs> but he's going to go ahead and remove this and then roll up the side so that there's some type of airflow that comes through the pallets. So it won't be quite as hot, but guys, it is amazing. I'm so excited because with all the chemtrails and everything that everybody's been talking about, it will be so nice to just grow directly in the ground and grow things year round. So yeah, we are either building another one or we are buying um, the metal hoops and starting another one because it's getting a little crazy out there, if you ask me. <sighs> but anyway, look how beautifully green everything is. Oh my word, I'm so excited. And that right there, that big stock tank, we're going to be using for a brooder for ducks because um, <clears throat> it has a small leak, nothing crazy, but um, yeah, look how huge it is. And it weighs so much. So we're gonna go ahead and utilize it until we need it for water. Um, 
There's the chicken area. They're all still inside. I think it's laying eggs time. They've got an area that they can come out there and then this area here. And as you can see the water, Avonlea was filling their pool. And yeah, she left the water on so flooded it. You know how that goes. It's all good. <laughs> Kids are helping and it's just a learning curve. They learn. You have to kind of be there when the hose is on because it'll flood within no time. But we had to get rid of some of our roosters. Um, we had, we probably had about, oh, I'd say, turn around here. I got the sun again. Ooh, there we go. Um, we probably had close to, sorry about that, busy time of day. Um, nine roosters <laughs> so we got rid of five and so this week we are going to get rid of at least three more we don't need that many roosters around because yeah chickens are getting overworked you know what i mean okay we're gonna walk over here to the pond i wanted to show you this is hilarious i have to tell you it really isn't hilarious but it's a little funny um in that pond that we have there is a massive snapping turtle. An alligator snapping turtle is what they call them because they have a shell on them that literally, guys, oh my word, is just, I don't even know. It is so, so thick and it's like a shield, of, like armor. Okay, here we go. Well, anyway, the snapping turtle is a mama. And what she has been doing is she has laid so many eggs and they have hatched. And so there are so many baby snapping turtles in this here pond, guys. So Jedediah was out here the other day. And then of course he came across a water moccasin. Well, he was out here with his little pellet gun. Um, you can see some of them laying on the top right there. I don't know if those are alive or not, but he had to literally take out a bunch of them because literally when he was out here, he said there was probably 30 of them swimming around. And yeah, you just can't have snapping turtles, you know, just all around. You just don't want that because first of all, you know, there's just not enough water here and it's eventually gonna dry up and they're gonna be wandering all over the property. So we don't want that. So he was able to take out a few. He tried to get the mama, but I'm telling you what, her shell, they just, it was so funny. He said just everything bounced right off, right off of her shell. And there's really not a way to catch her and, cause that's what I was thinking. I hate, you know, I love turtles but I don't know about snapping turtles because they're mean, but they will hiss at you. They literally will come at you, <laughs> but she's so big and she stays at the bottom of the pond and then she'll pop her head up every now and then. And so he tried to, you know, get her, but it didn't work. So she's still in the middle of the pond with a lot of babies um, and he did not get the water moccasin. So, yep, that's something that he's been working on. Crazy never a dull moment I'll tell you but yeah the turtles will really destroy your pond and they'll eat every little bit of fish that was in there I don't think there's any fish in there but even if there was the turtles have eaten it all and I was going to tell you also um look at how pretty there's Millie there's Millie I think there's Finnick um yeah when uh, the predator came I think Dutch was trying her best to, um, she was trying her best to protect and whatever it was, got her really good, took a huge chunk out of her foot. And yeah, we didn't even know about it. She, she was laying in the front of the trailer two days ago when it happened and we saw some blood. So of course, we wondered and I checked on her and sure enough, huge, huge hole. So I put colloidal silver, we packed it. Um, and of course the first thing she did 
when we left is she pulled all the bandages off. So we did it again and she's been cleaning it really good herself. It looks like it's trying to close up, but I mean, they literally took a chunk out. So I may end up having to take her to the vet and see if it needs to be stitched. But at this point, she's doing a really good job um, cleaning it. So we may just watch it because, you know, they know what they're doing. She keeps licking it and it looks like it's starting to scab over a little, but I don't want to get infected. So I'm definitely gonna keep an eye on it. I am so itching to get my hands in the dirt. Our um, landscape fabric came today. So exciting. So we're gonna put that down and um, I don't think we're gonna start the holes just yet because we don't know what we're planting where. I kind of have an idea, a little rough draft of, I did a little rough draft of where I'm gonna put things. Um, <coughs> but boy, I am just itching to get busy. I know y'all are too but we're getting a big frost next week. So can't do anything yet. I've done that before we jumped the gun. Then we had to cover everything. We lost a bunch. It's just not worth it. So, yep, I'm just gonna wait and uh, be patient and pray over this garden. Guys, if ever we needed to do a garden, it is now. I'm telling you, things are getting crazy. Okay, as you can see, I decided to sit in my greenhouse. It's so windy out there, so I thought maybe you'll be able to hear me in here because even with the mic on, when it's windy like this, um, yeah, it's hard to hear me. It has been so crazy. I have to say, we've lived in Missouri for 20 some years now, um, and it just seems to be getting windier and windier. I'm not exactly sure what that's all about, but it is so windy anymore. Forget having a hairstyle, you know, just stick it up in a, in a braid or a ponytail and you're good to go. But anyway, I've just been thinking so much. There's so much going on, as y'all probably know, so much going on. It is absolutely crazy. I mean, each day it's something else. Um, so there's certain things now that you just cannot buy at the grocery store anymore. I'm sure you all have heard that they're starting to put things in our vegetables, all of the meat supply. <sighs> Guys, it is insane. Be on the lookout for that ASPEEL sticker on veggies. Yeah, it stands for, well, what the sticker says is that it's plant-based protection, longer lasting produce. Yeah, don't buy into that. Before long, you're gonna see things like, oh, three cucumbers for a dollar. Who, we better buy those. Don't, don't buy into what's taking place. Now, if ever is the time to plant your own. You know what? Grow in whatever you can grow. Buckets, planters, um, bowls. I don't care what. If you have a little bit of space, plant food. The closer you plant it, plants are happy when they're planted close together. It doesn't matter. If you have a little plot of land, I don't care if it's, you know, just five foot, plant food because guys yeah it is going to be so crazy and it's supposed to take place this month if it hasn't already started taking place things like avocados corn rice wheat um bananas they are injecting this mrna Crazy, crazy. It is just more than I've ever seen. And I'm not fearful at all, but I want y'all to be prepared. Learn to forage. We are now, because of all of this and our garden hasn't started yet, we're getting a late frost. Um, start foraging. We are gonna be making sprouts of every kind. I ordered 
tons of sprouts because those can sustain us as vegetables until our garden comes in. So I know for those that are saying, well, how do, what vegetables can we eat? You know what? Sprouts. You can get broccoli sprouts. You can do lentils. You can do um, mung bean. There are so many different sprouts and it takes a little jar and you can make a mesh lid or you can put on some muslin and you tip it over, let it drain out really well. There's wasps coming in and out. I'm just watching. <laughs> and guys, you can sustain yourself on these sprouts. They are that good for you. Oh, here comes another. I don't do well. So if it lands on me and I scream, you'll know why. <laughs> I'm avoiding them. But um, yeah, this is not a joke, guys. It is very, very serious. They're messing with our meats now. If ever there was a time to start raising your own chickens, I know some can't do beef or pigs or whatever, but y'all can probably do some chickens. Go in with a friend, buy a pig, or if you can't, if you don't do pig, buy sheep, you know, raise up some sheep. Uh, they're quick growing and you will have lamb before you know it. Go in halves with a friend on a cow or something. Um, we all need to be aware that, yeah, it's just not going to be good. Because think about it. They are now taking, our boys are hunters. They are injecting the deer with, they have injected all the deer. So we will no longer be hunting for deer. We can no longer eat deer. Think about this as, okay, you will be getting bits of this daily in what you're eating. So you eat a cucumber with it. You eat a banana with it. You eat a steak with it. Okay, that's three portions. Three different times you've gotten Yeah. So guys, I cannot tell you enough. Do your own research. It's out there. It's been hidden for long enough, but it's out there now. You can find it. Check it out. Start growing sprouts. Stay away from the grocery store. Grow what you can. Raise what you can. There it is. That's all I wanted to say. Guys, I'm sorry that it's been a minute. Um, I'm going to be back at it. Now that it's almost planting season, yay! I will be showing you everything that we are going to plant, where we're planting. We are literally going to be utilizing every space that we can. We are going to grow, 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 and pray over that garden for it to yield and do well. And I pray that for you as well, that you can plant in grow bags. You can plant directly in a bag of potting mix, guys. You can cut, the, cut it open, leave the flap attached, poke holes in it, plant your lettuce, your spinach, because those are ones as well that you do not want to buy because those are being messed with. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end for now. I will be coming back with more things that's going on on the homestead. The siding is almost done on the abandoned house. Oops, sorry for that. The screen door just fell. <laughs> but um, yes, we will be showing you the siding and then they're gonna paint the roof. They're gonna paint the house white and it's gonna have a black roof. It's gonna be exciting. But anyway, guys, I hope this video finds you all well. Thank you for coming along on our little crazy journey. We appreciate you. We love you. Remember, we are not fear mongers. We have no fear because we know that we know that we know that we know. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end for now. We will catch you on the next one. God bless you.